Hi, I'm Jason with PlugRadar.com. I'm going to show you today Logic Pro X screen sets. So screen sets is an excellent way to be efficient with your workflow. What I have up top here is I'm on screen set one. So screen set one is showing me in my range page. I'm going to select all, press Z. So it zooms my entire screen so I can see everything that I have. This is screen set one. We could lock it so that no changes could be can be made to it by just going down and choosing lock. Now, Currently, there is not a key command set to it, but if you want, if you're an old Logic Pro 9 user, you could set it up to the same key command as before. So I went to Option K to set up the screen set. I'm gonna type in screen set, and here's your lock and unlock. We'll just learn by key label, and I'm gonna go Shift, Command, L, that's what it used to be before, and then close this up. So then now, if I go Shift, Command, L, I get a little dot beside that screen, or that number, so that means that the screen set is locked. So what this means is that if I zoom in and I move around, it doesn't lock your edits, it just uh, locks the screen set. So as soon as I press one on the number pad, I press one, boom. It brings me right back to that screen set that I, I had before, the locked version of the screen set, which is excellent because this is always your zoomed out area if you want it to be. I'm gonna go Command-2, brings up my Mixer page, but um, within this, I wanna set my Mixer page to be the screen set too. So screen set two, I press two, there we go. And then I'm going to maximize that page by pressing the green plus button. And then let's uh, bring up the mixer. There we go, mixer's full page. And then I'm gonna go over and just make sure that the only thing on the screen set is the mixer. There you go, mixer, nice and big. I can see it, I'm gonna lock it again. Again, two ways of locking. One is using a key command, which you must set or going in and choosing lock. So in this case, I will just choose with my mouse. Oh, I know, it took so much longer to do so. So then now, even if I go in and add an EQ and it's floating around on this page, if I wanna get rid of that EQ and just only see the mixer, I can press two on the QWERTY keyboard and it brings back to my initial settings of just a clean, clean mixer. Wanna go back to a clean, clean main page, I just press the number one and there we go, the zoomed out version of our uh, project two brings you back. Let's just show you another example of this. I'm going to go to screen set three and then by pressing three and then I go command two to bring up my mixer and then let's uh, bring up some EQs. So I'm just double clicking and uh, going to bring up EQs for uh, snare, bass drum, whatever. So these are a little big, so I'll make them you know manageable and I can set up my screen however I want with each of these different panels. And then I'm gonna bring up, oh, why not? I'll put it over here and then I'll bring up the bass drum EQ as well. So then, wow, that's really big. I'll make it a little bit smaller. So then now I have uh, kick, snare, and snare bottom all as EQs. Now, if I lock this, shift command L or go up to that screen set. Now, if I go um, press one, I'm gonna get my first screen set, which is my range page. Next one, two. We get that nice mixer three, I get this mixer page with all my EQ up. So if I'm doing EQ for my drums, I can dedicate a whole screen set to um, just my EQ for my drums. It's a fantastic way of working and you can decide whatever you want. The sky's the limit on this sort of thing. If I did uh, Windows set four, Windows set four I could have as you know editing for drums. So it would be a zoom setting for my drums and so on. So. A uh, very nice way of working. So that's screen sets in Logic Pro X, an excellent way combined with markers and colors of navigating and keeping your project very organized and um, being efficient within the program itself. I'm Jason with PlugRater.com. If you like this video, please like it below. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do so. You can check us out online at www.PlugRater.com. And thank you so much for watching the video.